Hey guys, it has been a minute. I am a slacker. I haven't been putting anything on the channel in a while. So this is kind of a, just an update to go over everything, future plans of the channel, and where I'm at currently with projects and everything that, that's gonna be going on this year. Unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 deal, uh, a lot of my plans have been ruined. We haven't got to go to a drift event this year, unfortunately. Uh, the first event was April, is April 18th, which is in a f not very long, um, but they canceled it because of the quarantine and everything. So hopefully that is over soon, because um, I got a lot of stuff to show you guys. Um, I know it's super dirty, like real dirty, but um, some things I didn't go over on my last video um, this is now a monster truck. Looks like it anyway. Now, uh, I do plan on doing a, a video going over everything that I've done to the car that I haven't recorded. Um, unfortunately, I just try to work on this when I can. So I've gotten to the point where it's super, I'm lazy. I've gotten to the point where I'm lazy. Where I don't want to set up the camera. I don't want to take the time to record. I just want to knock it out because I know that I don't have so much, I only have so much time. So I'm gonna try to stop doing that. I know I've said that before, but I'm 100% I'm serious this time. Just a quick overview of the 240, besides uh, looks like I went mudding in it. I got hooked up with Cosmos, Vinny from Cosmos, helped me out on a set of wheels, XT005Rs. I think it looks sweet. Uh, I did have to pull the fenders quite a bit. These are a plus 25, which isn't a super aggressive spec, um, but I think they look good. Uh, they did, it did look a little different uh, as you've seen in my previous video. I've got a little more poke now, which sometime I will probably gonna end up going with some over fenders. Yeah, I went and tested it and my driveway's dirt and it was raining. So that's why the car looks like that. So the car now has an FDF angle kit, which is amazing. Has a ton of angle. Uh, I think it's really gonna make the car. Also have Silver's suspension on it now. Um, I was gonna go with BC, but I'm a dealer for both uh, BC and uh, Silvers, and I wanted to kind of get some experience with Silvers. So far, love them. Way better than the cheap stuff I had on there. Of course, it doesn't take much to be better than the cheap stuff, but not even in the same category. One thing that I'm gonna be doing, two things I'm gonna be doing, I've made a little bit of progress on, not as much as I should, um, so I need to knock that out, like, now. So, oh, I'm gonna kind of mix it up a little bit. Got a lot going on, but both of these trucks now are getting an LS. Um, this one actually, I've got mounts and stuff. I kind of got a uh, block and stuff mocked up in there. I made a cross member and a whole bunch of stuff. When I get to this, I'll go over it. Uh, this one, Tim has decided to go back to fuel injection. So he's gonna do the LS, uh, 4L60. So if you've never done an LS swap, I'm gonna try to get super into at least one of these trucks. I don't want to make two of the same videos, obviously, but I'm going to try to get into how to, you know, wire it up and uh, and things like that. It's pretty straightforward, especially if you go with an aftermarket harness and they're pretty affordable. So I'll go over that. On to the next thing, 80s model front suspension that we'll be putting under Tim's truck. So it changes it to disc brake, uh, just a, a better design, a lot more modern anyway. The next cool thing, really cool thing, I really want to show you guys. I have convinced my wife that she needs to drift. So, my old hatch, we have started building for her. She is going to build it. I'm just guiding her so I can focus on other things. I threw my old four lug wheels on it, my old junk coilovers, um, which are plenty to learn on. It's 100% it's fine, we'll eventually upgrade her, but um, this car is actually, hasn't ran in four to five years, and it's actually been underwater twice. So we're gonna drop the tank. Eli's gonna let us borrow his tank and stuff. We, the interior is completely gutted in this thing. So we, we went and washed it out the other day, 
still smells needs some more cleaning but yeah so this will be a fun project it's getting a ka and a five speed and she's going to learn on this car so i think it'll be pretty cool it's missing a whole bunch but luckily we have a whole bunch so and eli is letting us borrow some of his functioning parts so next i've been kind of cleaning got a lot of junk out here this has brakes now it is taillights and shocks away from being roadworthy and a couple other things cosmetic wise that i need to take care of getting rid of some stuff making more room out here i'm gonna try to simplify life because i'm tired of things hanging over my head so after these two trucks literally not working on anybody else's stuff again aside from just helping friends so yeah we got a lot going on and uh, i'm super ready for the quarantine thing to be over with and this virus just go away so um uh, we can keep doing cool stuff cheap seats that's going in kayla's car uh, so i'm gonna record some of that uh show her working on it and stuff a couple other things that i want to do this year i want to go to a clutch kickers event which we kind of talked about going in july and I also want to go back to Texas to go to a Lone Star Drift event. Uh, two things I would love to do. Do not know if it's going to be possible with everything that's going on. But the car is pretty set up and ready for it. I'd like to fill it out, but uh, haven't been able to test it yet. So now also the car needs a rack and pinion. Uh, it needed it before. It just wasn't as bad. Once I put the angle kit on, it kind of intensified the way it felt. It kind of... I think I got a bad seal or, or a bush, something's wrong. I put new, oh, I moved the rack forward, which I'm sure doesn't help, but I wanna do a, I wanna do a video going completely over the 240 for those of you that are interested and show each part and kind of a summary of how it goes on. Um, and I'll do a review of the coilovers and the FDF kit. I was gonna do an install video, but like I said, I kinda got carried away and just did it. Um, gotta stop that. I'm a piece of shit. So I look forward to LS swap, LS swap, going over the stuff. Another 240 going together. Eli's gonna do some more stuff to his car. Uh, there's just a lot, there's a lot going on. So um, the garage is hopefully if I keep my motivation level, is going to get a makeover. Uh, I really would like to finish these trucks first before I work on anything like that. I've already worked on too much of my own personal stuff and not made enough progress. So um, yeah, I am going to do a deep scrub before I continue working on these trucks, which I will start this weekend and I will swap the subframe. But yeah, the garage is gonna get, I'm tired of not having room and clutter. I'm gonna build shelves and, and make things a lot nicer in here to, to work with. Um, also gonna work on these ugly walls. It's hard to justify for me sometimes putting money into an old building that's rotting away, um, but I'm gonna make do with what I have uh, while it's here. So this isn't gonna be, this isn't, Real long video, just want to touch base on everything. Probably going to be super boring to a lot of you, but for those of you who do follow everything, that um, kind of have a summary of what's going to be happening. So look forward to, to doing more. Um, been kind of bummed out because of everything that's happened, and eh, I'm not making excuses. Not trying to, anyway. Oh, I'm covered in grass. I weed eated the whole yard. Anyway... Yeah, so look forward to road trips, projects, LS swaps, a whole bunch of stuff. More 240 action. We're trying to find a wedge trailer to haul. Oh, yeah. The dually's gone. Blue head gasket. Pulling an empty trailer. Imagine that. Ford life. So, um, I got to get that fixed. But for now, my half-ton truck will pull the trailer. I just prefer to pull it with a diesel. And especially if we're going to be getting a trailer to haul three cars. So... <clears throat> anyway guys without boring you too much with me rambling talking about things that i'm going to do and hopefully do and this and that uh, i'm gonna end it here so 
I would very much appreciate if all 169 of you would like, share, and subscribe, which is crazy. I remember last time I mentioned subscribers, I had like 50. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, I will become more informative and I will make better videos. Uh, it's obviously a learning process. Uh, so like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys.